in LA, show showdown with Meghan. Her Majesty is taking control of the situation by new idea. At night four, Queen Elizabeth had heard she could see the less of grueling long haul travel, but always said she was willing to make exceptions if it was necessary in the duty to the crown. And after months of seeing the very fabric of the monarchy being unraveled by the actions of her grandson, Prince Harry, and his wife, Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, Her Majesty has declared the situation an emergency. Sources tell New Idea that the monarch has ordered an ex to draw up safe and secure plans for an 11-hour flight to California, where she plans to confront Meghan and Harry at the new $20 million mansion in Montecito over their alleged involvement in the biography Fighting Freedom, which she feels has torn her family apart. We understand that she has hand-picked security and medical personnel for the private flight, which will take off in the coming days from Aberdeen, Scotland, near her current location of Balmoral Castle, and Lenny LA before she is whisked to the couple's sprawling 1670 square meter house overlooking the Pacific Ocean. The neighborhood is also home to celebrities, including Oprah Winfrey and Ellen DeGeneres. According to an exclusive source, rumor is rife in Santa Barbara that the five-star hotel California has been advised to keep its best suit, and several surrounding rooms on standby for a VVIP arrival. Given her age and the current global for climate, it's a huge and risky understanding for someone her age, but she has decided enough is enough, says a source. She has left it to Prince Charles Prince William and their teams to iron out the issues before Harry and Meghan announced they were leaving the family back in January. And since then, the especially with this biography coming out, things have only gotten worse. And she feels the only person Meghan and Harry will truly listen to is herself. And since they refused to come back to London, the Queen is left with no choice but to visit them and read the real acts. The book, which has was released last week, is filled with gross sex accounts of how mistreated and misunderstood Harry and Meghan were at the hands of Viper Royal Acts, along with digs of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge for it being less than welcoming to Harry's bride. It claims 39-year-old Meghan felt stifled and unprotected by the palace, but that it became obvious to Harry, 35, that they had no choice but to leave. And though the authors of Scobie and Carolyn Duran insist the couple did not give an interview, many royal experts have scoffed at the denial. The Queen feels this is a very one-sided version of events. All of this has been damaging to her family and the institution itself. The whole country is squabbling over the alleged treatment of Meghan and Harry when they should be focusing on bigger issues. And she has had just about enough of it, says the source. She gave her a more support than any other royal wife, the plum patronages, a sunny country home at Windsor, a royal wedding and anything else she could ever ask for. That she's even having to do it at her age is mind blowing, continues the source. The monarch part of her is furious, the grandmother part of her is disappointed.